What's up Skyrim fans? Zombie Fist Gaming here with my Skyrim Let's Play. So this will be the first episode in my Skyrim series. I plan on playing through the whole game and playing through all the storylines that are possible playing in one game. So I'm playing through as a Wood Elf. I am named Simon. Uh, and I thought it would be interesting if I gave Simon a backstory. So Simon supports the Imperials because... When Simon was a young lad, he lived in a tree, in wherever, you know, what else live. But he was living in a tree, and it was a lovely tree. A nice big tree, kind of like an oak, maybe, but a really big one. So he was living there with his family, as what else do, because what else lives in trees, and not like up in the tree, like in the stump. And uh, he was hanging out in his tree, and next thing you know, isn't there a whole bunch of storm cloaks outside? And they're like... Simon, let us into your tree. And Simon, Simon's not taking none of this, because like Simon's a strong, independent wood elf who don't need no man. So uh, he's like, I ain't let nobody into my tree. So didn't let anyone in, and the Stormcloaks was like, burned in, we'll kill your whole family. And they burned down his tree and killed his whole family. Bit violent, I know, but uh, it kind of makes Simon a bit broody. You know, uh, Makes him want to be kind of sneaky. The kind of guy who sneaks around, jumping, hides behind rocks. You know, a kind of thief kind of guy. And a guy who, you know, just, just a kind of snaky guy. So, um, thought that'd be an interesting backstory. And, uh, Simon's dream is to join the Dark Brotherhood because Simon wants to, you know, be snaky, but he also hates Stormcloaks. So he's obviously going to be on the Imperial side against the Stormcloak Rebellion. Uh, as well as that being an elf. You know, there's a lot of taboo against elves in the Skyrim world. And they're not very liked because High Elves own Skyrim. And the Stormcloaks don't really like that. So, uh, I've never played through as a Wood Elf before. This is my first time I've played Skyrim before. But I've never played through as a Wood Elf. I've played through as much more brutal characters like Orcs. So uh, he's kind of sneaky. Um, I plan on making him an archer as soon as I get some more bow uh, ammo, arrows, what? Uh, and I will use those to kill stuff. Um, but until then, I'll just use uh, one hand of archer. Nice and light, and I guess they're a little bit sneaky. Although I should be. Able to use them. Screw you, sister. I'm not a guy who gives in to the system. But um, right now I'm making my way. Oh, I thought it was my team. Boom! Yeah, Simon takes no shit from nobody. Just that kind of guy. So uh, right now, make my way to Riverwood, which is the first major major town in Skyrim. I will be starting on the main storyline, but I might play through it all in one go. I might just, you know, kind of get a bit into the main one and then start from the Imperials and the Dark Brotherhood and stuff. And uh, so nearly at Riverwood now. And Riverwood's a pretty interesting town. It's um, there's a really good follower there. If you can get Feindal on your team, I really like Feindal. He's a wood elf like myself, and uh, he's a pretty decent archer. And he's not that expensive, and he'll teach you archery. And if he's your companion, it didn't nudge nudge. You can steal your money back off him. So um, I'm looking for Gerder, who is right here. She's going to talk to me about Raloff, who is that guy we saw at the beginning. Him? And um, she's going to tell me to go to really Raloff's friend. Because that's where I should report this dragon would attack. Explain what I, saw early. I mean, I have you seen Alduin? Just go that guy, you don't mess with that kind of guy. We need to get word dragon, to Yarl that kind of dragon. Them, to send like whatever suits he can. So as soon as Raloff shows up, that. which he will do soon, maybe soon. I'm glad to help any way I can. Uh, like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help so yourself bread, to you carrots, cheese, mofo, mead, I love my mead, raging alcoholic, as elves are, we just, we just don't hold it well, uh, more mead, uh, nord mead, hate nords because they're stormcloaks, grrr, uh, minor healing, not that useful later on, but right now it's basically my whole health bar, well, quarter of it, and um, a rabbit haunch, is that a rabbit foot, is that what we call rabbit feet, and a red apple, which I really appreciate because thank All you right for one then. of my five a day. Now off I go on an adventure. Oh, I'm basically like the guys from The Hobbit. 
Except, well, that kind of, they're not really elves. They're hobbits. Which are kind of like elves. But anyway, not really at all. But I'm off to Whiterun, which is my favorite city in the whole of S Skyrim. Because it's massive, and it's walled in. And Dragon's Reach is like a church, and it's really pretty. And I want to look up at it, and we're probably going to look at it for a while. But um, I'm a bit of a swimmer, so uh, we're probably going to swim a lot, if you guys don't mind. Uh, I like it underwater, and I also like catching salmon. I'm not, I rarely eat the meat, but uh, I do like catching them for some reason. So uh, Simon's a pretty sneaky guy, likes to sneak around, doesn't like being seen. Yeah, he, he considers himself a bit of a hunter, although... Uh, so far he hasn't really shown any of his hunting prowess and uh, he's also a bit of a risk taker you know jumping off waterfalls you know that kind of guy Simon's you know he's, he's kind of like Bear Grylls except he lives in a tree for most of his life rather than you know drinking snake piss or whatever no he drank his own piss out of a snake pit. I don't think I'll be doing any of that but um Still would consider himself a bit of a, a bit of a ninja, a bit of a mud crab. Uh, no, he doesn't consider himself a bit of a mud crab, but I was attacked by mud crab. Oh yeah, I'm level two. So uh, that's a big achievement, level two. I'm pretty proud of Simon, you know, showing off his skills by becoming the second lowest level, in which is just I'm, I'm so proud of him. I really do love Simon. He's my baby. So, um, we're almost at White Run. Uh, as I've said, it's my favorite city. I'm on one of the companions who are over there fighting a giant. And no matter how hard I try, I don't get to help. It'll be the giant before I get over there every time. I don't know why. But, uh, and then they give out to me for not helping. Um, so I'll just search the giant. I'm nearly sure he's empty. Sorry, one iron arrow. And uh, then I will get given out to by a hell of crap human being. Well, that's taken care of. Oh, yeah, I would help. No, thank okay. You. Certainly okay. not. <sighs> Whatever. That's uh -huh. why I'm here with my. Sh blah 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 blah. You're so boring. I hate we you. Show up to solve okay. Yeah, can I meet. join, please? Man, I want to be a werewolf. If you go to him. Cool. Good luck. Um, werewolf, one of pretty overrated power in Skyrim. I mean, it's cool and all, and you're like motherfucking werewolf, but uh, not very good. Like, it sucks basically brutal you can hit stuff and everything kills you but while you're doing it you look stunning like gorgeous oh my god girl your fur is just wonderful today but uh past that you know past aesthetics it's not that great of power but um okay at the beginning of the game and uh before you get some good weapons i guess the werewolf's melee is actually pretty good but the whole you can't switch back um, and when you do you're naked it kind of it's not great. It's not great, really. But, um, so we're almost at White Run now. Uh, this guard's going to tell me I can't go in. But I will tell him oh, I have important news. Um, and he'll open the door and let me in. in. Eventually. Boy, city's closed with the dragons yeah, about. open the door. Cool. So, uh, so we're in White Run. We'll pay whatever it possibly takes, my favorite must have area more in Skyrim. For the Imperial I really do like this whole uh, dragons on the corners of the roofs thing. And um, Breeze Home, which you can buy later on, is my favorite house in the game. I know it's small and I know it's it's not special, but it's just it's just home for me. It was my first house in Skyrim. I really appreciate it. Um, I kind of get this whole aging feel in like the walls and stuff, because a lot of them are uneven. But, um... And, you know, the tree in the middle is, like, dead. And I know I can bring it back to life later, but it, it kind of just makes, you know, White Run feel really old to me. And, uh, you know, this, this Talos shrine, but, um, this guy, if he, if Talos would be great if it wasn't for this guy. He's just like, Talos guide you! Talos, Talos, Talos! Okay, we get it. Talos is great. Awesome. Go away. So, uh... Off to Dragon Reach. I really like Dragon Reach. It's um, you know, this massive motherfucking castle, and like uh, you know, it's where one of my favorite jarls lives. I quite like Falco. 
uh, he's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna head on in and um, get given out to by that elf lady. <laughs> So uh, we're in the castle in Dragon's Reach, off to meet Jarl Balcor. And uh, this one is going to talk to me. My lord, what's the meaning of this interruption? What do you come, Jarl blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm here to talk well, about Dragon's Reach. Explains why the guards let you in. Come on, I just the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So uh, I think we'll finish the video there. In uh, the next video, we'll be talking to Jarl Balgruff and uh, learning a bit more about Dragon's Reach and dragons and whatnot. And maybe we'll even fight one. So uh, if you like my video, subscribe, like the video, and uh, throw me a comment. I really want to hear some feedback. If I uh, do anything wrong, please tell me. I uh, appreciate anything I can hear from fans. And Please like and subscribe and comment on my video and also like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter.